how can you create graphs like this that look at the future demand for short-term rentals and show you big events coming up. This is an example where I will show you how you have tools that you could use to look at the upcoming demand. For example, here uh, for September and October 2023 in Paris, you can clearly see peaks for demand uh, for nights or afternoons where rugby games are being played. Indeed, the World Cup, the Rugby World Cup, is coming to Paris and France in 2023. And we'll see together, even if we don't know anything about the World Cup, we can tell something's going on. So what I'm doing, I'm going to be looking at Market Dashboard, which is a tool by Price Labs. Um, if I look, go into Market Dashboard, and I create a dashboard around the center of Paris, for example, I will get multiple data. I'm not going to go through them right now. I'm just going to go into the graphs here. And what you can see with the graph, here's the graph for the whole demand for the whole year uh, next year. Uh, what you can see here is that as we go along the year to the occupancy, you can see that basically, you know, it starts high as we go down the year. It goes down, but you can see bumps in September, October, November. And if I want to, I could actually zoom in and see indeed there are suspicious bumps you know around September 7 8th and say around 22nd 23rd hmm so what's happening so let's let's go into even more details here I, I prepared something here so if I zoom in on these dates I can clearly see bumps right so overall basically um, the overall height of each bump is the number of bookings for that date and different colors you have the length of stay um, basically what it's really showing that for this date a lot of people are, book are booking for two days and what these are actually dates where you have the tournament so let me go quickly to the website of the uh, world cup for rugby world cup uh, what it shows me that this the um, first game is france versus new zealand on the 8th uh, same weekend on 9th Australia versus Georgia and then 23rd September another game South Africa versus Ireland and then we have 7th of October 14th of October and then we have weekends right 14th 15th 20th 21st 27th 28th so if I go back to my graph I can indeed see the first game right the opening game uh, France versus New Zealand and is again it's the second day as well is here as well second game um, and then the following game is here, and then, as I said, uh, at the end of October, you have the final games, which are always two days. So here we have one, two, two days for this first weekend. One, two, the peak is as two um, summit here, and same thing, and then demand goes down. Right, so as we can see, you can really, really see um, uh, demand here from um, this graph. So that's basically how uh, I can create graphs like this that show you um, uh, events happening, right? Again, so we have these graphs, these peaks here, and if we just put here the dates of the events, that's what we see. So, and that's true for any event. Uh, that's where you can un actually understand how important it is for you to get something like a market dashboard, for example, to see whether you are not missing out on any upcoming events, a big concert, sports event, or anything, a big conference in your city. Um, obviously, what you want is to know what's about that, and what you have to know as well is that tools, that dynamic pricing tools like Price Labs, for example, they will take this into account, right? They will start increasing your prices for you. But it's really, really important again if you prepare your year 2023, you look at this, you look at the whole year of 2023. If there are bumps along the way where people are already booking and not even sure what it is you should react now, right? Because if people are booking for dates that you don't know why, um, yeah, and of course it's good for you to know, try to know what's happening, but also even better, try to make sure the prices are right for that event. So you don't want to sell maybe too early at a too low price if there's such a big event happening. All right, I hope this has been useful.